So what if I told you that the single most requested feature of the Galaxy Note lineup is coming back? but sort of. And there's a reason, as apparently there are more differences between the two Galaxy Note 20 models than we thought. We have more details on the iPhone 12's launch date delays from some of Apple suppliers, and I thought I was the only one with an iPhone 11 and an iPhone 11 Pro issue on the display, but I was wrong. I'm Jaime Rivera, and thank you everyone for correcting me yesterday. Now I get it. I know we have to wait for the alien invasion first before the zombie apocalypse. This is Pocket Now Daily, sponsored by MediaTek. Stick around to learn why you should pick MediaTek for your next purchase. The official news today start with deals that kind of hint to the fact that we're probably getting close to that Google Pixel 4a. Sort of, hopefully. I'm gonna use sort of too much today. For example, Amazon has the Pixel 3a for $279 shipped after a $120 discount for the 64 gigabyte variant. But there's a catch. This is only the just black color variant that I really don't like as that purplish only variant is $49 in discount. The 3a XL is also $160 off, leaving it at 319, but again, just for the just black color variant. The 40 millimeter GPS Apple Watch Series 5 is also $100 off, leaving that at $299 shipped. And we've got more deals on the other variants of the Apple Watch in addition to Samsung's Frame TV, that's huge and gorgeous in the link in the description. Now, obviously given the current situation, COVID-19 jobs and everything, economy is definitely not great. So the more budget friendly, good phones out there, the better. And Motorola just stepped up and brought us a refresh that I actually really like. Motorola just launched two new budget phones in the US and Canada, the Moto G Fast and the Moto E. The Moto G Fast brings a 6.4 inch max vision display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 processor with three gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of expandable storage. It has a triple camera at the back with a 4,000 milliamp hour battery and it runs Android 10 out of the box. The Moto E, which is pretty much a refresh, has a 6.2 inch max vision HD plus display, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 632, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of expandable storage. It has dual cameras at the back, 3550 milliamp hour battery and runs Android 10 out of the box as well. Now the price range is the good one, 200 bucks for the Moto G Fast, 150 for that Moto E. And if you think about what you get for that price range on competing devices, Again, these are no iPhone SEs, but regardless, these are really great offerings. Moto does know how to make a budget phone. You can learn more about everything, in addition to what retailers in the links of the description. Now, if you remember what we were missing from the Galaxy S20 on Verizon was a Galaxy S20, because you could only buy the Plus or the Ultra, which were the most expensive variants. And it was understandable. The smaller variant only had sub six, no millimeter wave. And well, we discussed the announcement previously. Now you can finally get that S20 on Verizon. It will be available in cosmic gray, cloud pink and cloud white. It costs the same $9.99 as everywhere else, but they'll be giving you an $150 credit if you get it today on a 24 month installment plan. I know, I wish I would have read that earlier and I would have done that video earlier, but it's, you know, it's, these are weird times. You could probably still try, find out more in the link in the description. Now, for those of you that follow me on social media, you know that my iPhone 11 Pro died recently. And the reason why I didn't make much fanfare about it is I contacted my friends, have you guys had any issues with your units? And nobody actually told me that they had the same problem. I had this greenish tint on my display eventually becoming this completely white display, completely dead. And sadly, I can't repair it right now because I'm in Honduras. So it turns out that I wasn't alone. A bunch of users on Reddit are having a similar issue with even iPhone 11s, which are getting this greenish tint on the display when they unlock the device. The report claims it could be a software issue as it happens to all three iPhone 11 models, and it happens when you have dark mode and night sight at the same time. If it's a software update, Apple could fix it with iOS 13.5.5, but at the moment, there's really no other way to fix it. Now, that's the report. I'm gonna tell you this much, I don't think it's a software issue. My display is now dead, like all the pixels went white and there is no way to fix it. And honestly, I noticed that it kept the grading over time. It actually happened through like a four month span, probably less. So I actually do have to contact Apple and see how my display gets replaced. But if they tell me they can fix it with software, then great. I'd like to see that. And since we're talking Apple, let's discuss the iPhone 12. I mean, we're supposedly getting it at some point later this year, but there has been a lot of fumble as to the time frame. 
Though once you talk to suppliers, you kind of get an idea of when it's gonna happen. According to Bloomberg, Broadcom CEO discussed the major product cycle delay from a large North American mobile phone on an earnings conference call. He claimed that their revenue in Q3 will be significantly lower and that they don't expect to see an uptick until Q4. This means we could see the iPhone 12 until Q4 since it makes most of Broadcom's Q3 earnings. This goes along with other reports from Meng Shi Kuo, the Wall Street Journal, and more which have hinted to an October or November November launch. And some other sources even say we could see an announcement still in September, but then the product won't be available until November, like what happened with the iPhone 10, if you remember, where we got the 8 first and then we had to wait for the pros. Well, the 10 back in the day. We'll see about that. And friends, before we get to the hottest news, in addition to today's question, here's a word from today's sponsor, MediaTek. Did you know its technology powers the Amazon Echo Show 5? Its compact 5.5 inch display allows you to watch movies, TV shows, get daily briefs, run video calls, and listen to your favorite music. It features a MediaTek technology called far field communication, which is the reason why you can whisper at the speaker from a distance and have it detect your commands. You can currently get it on amazon.com for $69.99 in the first link in the description, and also follow the second link to learn why brands like Amazon trust MediaTek. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and something that I've been waiting to come back for the longest time. If I had to ask you which is your favorite Galaxy Note, love to know in the comments. My favorite was the Galaxy Note 5. Flat display, curve back. Apparently that could come back, but Sort of. See, it looks like there are more differences between the two upcoming Galaxy Note variants than we thought. We have some new case renders of the Galaxy Note 20 lineup that show the phone from different angles. If you look at it from the side, you can tell that the Note 20 Plus will get a curved display while the regular Note 20 seems to bring a flat display. If this does happen, this might be the first Samsung flagship to be released without a curved display since, what, the Galaxy S7? Even if the S20 was kind of flat. The leaks also show the camera array, but it looks kind of different to what we had seen before. Obviously, take these leaks with a grain of salt, though. Remember, we're very close to the announcement. It could be happening in the first week of August. So if you had to pick in today's question, flat Galaxy Note or curved display on that Galaxy Note? In my case, again, give me a flat display with a curved back and I will be the happiest guy. But that's just me. Leave us a comment down below. And in addition, cast your vote in the poll over which would be your preference. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketout.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram and follow me on my personal handles to see me wait for the alien invasion. I even have t-shirts of that. I should have worn that. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you over the weekend with the recap.